You know something? We date our cameras, but we marry our lenses. Hi everyone, welcome to Pal to Tech. Today we're talking about the very first lens that you should consider getting for your Fujifilm camera system. Now, I'm talking about APS-C and not the GFX system. That may be a future video. Fujifilm makes a lot of great lenses for their APS-C mirrorless cameras, from their ultra-wides to their zooms to their incredible primes. There is a lens pretty much for every kind of shooting situation that you can think of, and <laughs> pretty much any kind of budget that you can imagine. Now, unless you can back a Brinks truck up to your house and money is no object, we do need to factor in budget and cost into my recommendation today. In other words, the amount of lens awesomeness that you get for the money that you're spending. All things considered, if you're switching over to Fujifilm's camera system, or if you're just starting out as a photographer, you need to put a lot of thought into what your first lens should be. And that's because firing up a camera and starting to use a lens, well, first impressions matter. And some lenses, even though they're awesome, can also be limiting depending upon the type of images you create. Or perhaps they're just not aligned properly with where you are right now as a photographer. So for example, this 90 millimeter F2.0 Fujinon lens is one of my all time favorites because it has such a nice background and incredibly fast autofocus, but it isn't really that flexible for say architecture or landscape shots. Likewise, this 30 millimeter macro prime F2.0 2.8 is fast becoming one of my most favorite lenses in the entire Fujifilm system. But you wouldn't want to use this for sports and action photography. So which one is it? Which lens should be the very first one that you attach to your new Fujifilm camera? Your first Fujifilm lens should be the 18 to 55 millimeter zoom. Let me break this down for you and tell you why. First, the size and the price. Very reasonable on both. It's $700, which is $400 less than the 16 to 55 millimeter zoom. It's more compact than many of the other Fuji lenses. It only weighs in at a respectable 310 grams, and it has 14 elements in 10 groups. You get a very useful 18 to 55 millimeter focal range, which equates to 27 to 84 millimeters on a full frame camera. Now, the minimum focus distance is 30 centimeters, which isn't too bad. And it takes a filter size of 58 millimeters on the front. Let's talk aperture. The aperture ranges from f22 all the way to either f4 or f2.8, depending upon what focal length that you're currently shooting with. This lens is very sharp at all apertures, and it's ideal for street photography, portraits, landscapes, pretty much any category that you can think of. It has a dedicated aperture ring, but that leads me to one of the drawbacks of this lens and that is that the aperture ring itself doesn't have any aperture markings. It's totally blank. I do wish that they had put some aperture markings right on the ring. Regarding autofocus and performance, I can tell you that I have been shooting with this lens more than any other Fujinon lens for the past five years, and it has been the most flexible and reliable lens I've ever used in Fujifilm system. The autofocus is not as fast as the 90 millimeter, but it's just as good or better than most Fujifilm lenses, and for the price, the autofocus offers incredible value, and it takes advantage of even the new autofocus algorithms on the X-T5. It's also one of the best lenses, in my opinion, for shooting video. The optical image stabilization on this lens is absolutely wonderful, and even if you put the lens on, say, an X-T3, right, or any Fujifilm camera that does not have built-in IBIS, you are still going to get some wonderful image stabilization, which, of course, as you know for shooting video is so important. And next to a dedicated cinema lens, you just can't go wrong with using this 1855 for your entire production. You know something, in running this channel and publishing all these videos, I have been fortunate enough to use and test out so many lenses in the Fujifilm system. And yeah, there are definitely lenses that are optically better than this one. And there are lenses that have faster autofocus, and there are even lenses that have better color rendering. But this lens really nails what I think is the single most important point of all when you're starting to first shoot with your Fujifilm camera. And that is this. This lens is just so useful. And that's what I love about it. You throw this lens right on the camera and then you don't give it another thought. And that incredible usefulness 
that is where this lens excels because it gives new Fujifilm camera users the ability to let go of all these constraints and instead dive into the film simulations or learning the manual control dials and how that affects exposure and all of the other aspects that make this such a wonderful camera system. And so if you've just gotten a Fujifilm camera or are considering getting one, then I would recommend that you give the 18 to 55 millimeter zoom some very serious consideration. This lens will always be a part of my Fujifilm kit. And for all of the reasons I mentioned before, it is why I think it should be your very first lens when getting started with Fujifilm. Before I go today, I want to say a very special thank you to all of you who gave such wonderful notes of support and encouragement after I published my last video. I have read through all of them. I'm sorry I have not been able to respond to everyone. I think running a YouTube channel can be one of the hardest things you could ever do, but you have definitely made it fun and you've made it meaningful and you've made it personal and you've really connected with me. Thank you so much. And I hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I'm gonna be signing off now, but have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all in a new video next week. Take care.